You know, I hate to do it. Doing a little recap here, looking at today's action. I walked away after the morning session. I came back here afternoon to keep a look at it, and I was like, well, we're just pretty much at the exact level that I would say we were gonna be at, or I said it we were gonna. We were pretty much at the exact level that I talked about this morning, that 4,000 level on the ES. I'm gonna show you why I came up with that idea and just break down today's action. How can we do better? What can I do better to be a better day trader and to really capitalize off of these types of moves? Let's get into it. Pulling up the Lux Algo indicator suite here on TradingView, you can see this is the three minute chart we're looking at right now. The market opened up this morning. We sold off from the 55s all the way down here to the 4,000, pretty much like 4,004 4, level, exactly where I talked about it during the live stream. And if you look here, the reason for that is very simply because of this. Look at that pivot point on the daily chart. This is the daily chart with the pivot point right there at the 4,004s. So we broke below the low here on this daily candle. And then today, that's why I was believing we would get down here to the 4,004 level. And that's exactly where we got to. So this is the daily chart. You can see the breakdown there. I'm not sure why I keep clicking that. But tomorrow, possibly get a move down to the 3960 area. You got that 3,900 pivot down there, basically kind of looking at the daily chart, doing one of these possible. So that was my overall like big focus, that 4,000 level, the idea of being short most of the day here. Look here at the 15 minute chart. We had that previous week low right there at that 55. So that was last week's low. And today we were getting stuck there as resistance. So that was identified here on the Lux Algo indicator suite we had that resistance here at the 60s so i was thinking at open short and we get that move down but how could i really capitalize and make this a better bigger day you know we already talked about that 4000 level being the pivot point on the es down there and i'm sitting here like okay i think if we can break the downside here we would get this move down to the 4000s and if you see on the 15 minute chart, we had a beautiful overall trend to the downside there. We broke that opening range, I would say, pretty much broke the low there at the 45s and it was off to the races. And if you see here, we broke the 45s, went all the way down there at 32, a little push back up, having some trouble there at the 40s. And then really after this move right here, I think after this move right here, you were just off to the races in terms of that move hitting down there at the 4000s. You know, the problem is on the three minute chart sometimes, it's just too many moves. You're getting too much information, right? Like when the market's just kind of like do, 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 do. You're like, well, I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? Especially like through this area right here. Hey, if you're looking to getting into futures, you want to learn more about trading futures and kind of what it's all about. I have a full course that breaks down the A to Z in terms of getting into futures and trading. You can also go through the top step combine, start out with a small amount of money, start practicing, start learning and doing all that fun stuff. There's links down below if you wanna learn more. Let's get back into the recap This is here. where we were live and we were like, this thing's just chopping, chopping, chopping at the 16s, at the 20s. And then look, finally, there's that move down from the 24s all the way down there to the 4,000s. You know, what could I have done differently? I think I just had to really stick to my overall plan here, the plan of getting this move down there to the 4,000s. We saw that pivot on the daily chart. I had my plan. I had kind of the target. I just needed to stick to the target. I needed to believe in the target. And that's one thing that I think a lot of people just don't talk about enough when it comes to day trading is it's one thing to have a strategy. It's another thing to actually believe in that strategy, right? It's another thing to believe that like, hey, there's a pivot. That pivot's down there on the daily chart. It's just sitting there waiting to be touched. So having that belief is a very powerful thing. And that's one thing that I'm really working on is like, how do I build up that belief? And building up that belief is by, you know, sticking to the plan, owning the plan and believing that these moves are going to happen the way they are going to happen, the way that I see them happening. So, you know, it's always uh, the coulda, the shoulda, the woulda. Obviously in hindsight, it looks easy now. In the moment, totally different story, but the big focus, again, guys, is just training our brains to believe, right? To believe that we have an edge, to believe that we know what we're doing, to believe that we're gonna get these targets set on the chart when we have those setups. And, you know, this was really just a great 
kind of overall day in terms of getting some nice moves back up that 23 level we got sold through there you can see that fair value gap right here being a beautiful resistance area there at the 19s so that right, right there being a good short opportunity from the 19s down there to the 04s and you can see here on the lux algo app i mean it was just do 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 hitting that trend line hitting that trend line i mean it wasn't pretty but it was pretty much drawn out there perfectly on the lux algo app and then again just kind of chop around during the power hour here back up there to the 2016 area then back down 05 so it was it was there the action was 100 percent there we just needed to really focus on the bigger picture and then having that belief you know the belief that we could get that move down and that's exactly what we got we got the move down there to the 4004 level i was talking about it you know coulda shoulda woulda but i really just again got to build up that confidence that this strategy does work that this overall move is going to happen the problem is the problem is you know we have days where we get a bid the problem the pro the the really difficult problem here is that we have days where the market's choppy and then we kind of get out of our you know we get out of that funk where we're like believing that we're going to get those big moves and then on a on a and then on a day like today when the market's just grinding lower and lower you're like well it's gonna chop like it's gonna end up going back up or it's gonna end up stopping you out so you end up not capitalizing off those bigger moves because of kind of what happened the previous day so it's really hard to kind of switch from you know taking profit quickly to now holding and having a bigger plan so there's that fine line we got to figure out kind of where that fine line is tomorrow we're gonna have the fomc meeting some uh minutes some fomc minutes and we'll kind of see what happens after the minutes tomorrow at 2 p.m that's kind of my breakdown on today what i could have done better we knew that 4,000 area was gonna be there we knew it was there we just needed to believe i mean that would have been an absolute beautiful short from the 50s down there to the 4000s you know rock and roll baby let's go so there it is another day another dollar we're learning we're getting better every day if you guys haven't already hit that like button subscribe button you know what to do let's go